Dr. Manning? Yeah, um, you can go ahead and fill up that suitcase because you're getting out of here. Great. I also don't think I could have taken another day in this room. Well, if you stay healthy, maybe you won't have to come back here ever again. Well, are there 101 forms to fill out before we can go? There's a little bit of red tape, but I think I can handle it. You want me to help you get packed or anything? No. I need something to do while I'm waiting. Okay, well, then I'll uh, see if I can't expedite uh, papers. Bobby, I picked up some detail. It shouldn't be long before I have it went pinpointed. Yeah, you better get the seal down here. Okay. Great. All right, contact us the minute that you got any distinguishing marks. That's Donaldson down at headquarters. It is not a shadow, it's a scar. He's doing more computer enhancements. He's going to bring it into focus. All right. I got Bates getting me a copy of the phone records from the hospital that day. I figured when I talked to Zach, he had to be calling from an inside line. Good thinking. But what about the tail? Well, there's nothing yet. I got one of my best guys on it, but I put him on a short leash. Wouldn't want the good doctor getting suspicious. I want that baby back alive. Zach, he's a customer, he's not a cop. Everything's just fine. By the way, they're letting me take Eden home today, thanks. So I'm gonna have to be gone for a while. Don't worry about it, I'll stay here, I'll stay on top of it. Be happy to get her out of here. Yeah, I think that room of hers has become a prison. Of course, I'm not sure it's going to be any different at home. You can change the place. You can't necessarily change the situation. I know. I got another man coming in in a couple of hours. When he shows up, I want you to get out of here. That's an order, okay? I'm fine. Michael, you've been here all night. No, I want to stay. I'm fine. Well, I don't know how to thank you. When we get that little girl home, I'll be all thanks, Andy. Hi. Hi. I hear you're leaving the hospital today. Yeah, finally. I'm telling you, you're amazing. You know, most women would still be flat on their back after everything we've gone through. Well, I heard some of the most devastating news of my life in this room. I don't particularly want to see these walls again. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, <clears throat> I talked to Cruz. And he said it was okay if I gave you this news. News? Yeah, it's a decision that I have spent months agonizing over. And I think I've made the right decision. Um, I'm going to leave Santa Barbara. Um, I'm going to move back to Los Angeles. When? Well, you see, I had an offer to do a pilot and it starts shooting at the end of the week and I had to give him my answer a couple days ago oh well I didn't realize you were thinking of taking up acting again oh I wasn't sure I was either you know after rehab I wasn't sure I could take those kind of pressures again but the more I was in therapy the more I realized that the pressures were coming from inside of me not outside and I think I can handle it now 
I think it's good to realize something about yourself like that. Yeah. I think... The only thing that I'm not sure I can handle is leaving Chip. I have tried desperately to try to figure out how I could take him with me. It would be such a comfort for me. But I think it would be hell for him. And there's just no way around it. I can keep along this with you and Cruz. Well, I know it's not easy for you to say that. Yeah, there are a lot of things that were hard to face. Uh, but you know, he's changed. Since he moved in with you, he's a lot more secure. He's, he's learned to trust. And if I take him with me, you know, he's going to be with a nanny 10 to 14 hours a day. And I think that would be criminal. I know it's not easy being that far away. No, it's not. But I have to think of the future. You know, I have to start to support myself. And I really do want to contribute to his education. Oh, you know you don't have to worry. Oh, I, I know that. And I know that he has it. A trust fund, but it's important to me. You know, I'm his, I'm his mother. You know, I won't be here. Of course, you're his mother. And listen, you can come any time you want. You don't need a reservation. <laughs> Thanks. And I hope that he will come and visit me when he gets older. Of course he will. Good. Ellie's not that far away. And it seems like a lifetime away when I'm away from my child. Um, is it okay if I go over and say goodbye to him today? I won't stay long. It's okay. You can stay as long as you like. Thank you. And look, I know everything is going to work out. You just missed Victoria. Yeah, I saw her on the way, and uh, she's come a long way, huh? Chip's gonna miss her. All the more reason to make good on the promise we made to him. What promise is that? We told him he was gonna have a little sister to play with. Can't afford to disappoint him. Let me go check on those forms. Bruce. Hi. Hi. I heard you even be released. Yeah, with any luck, we should be out of here in the next couple of minutes. Great. How's she doing? Well, she's holding it together, I guess, you know. But this is certainly not the way she envisioned leaving the hospital. I got a feeling when she hits home and sees the nursery, it's going to jump on her again. Yeah, that's why I thought that maybe I might stop by the house later on this afternoon, if that's okay. Oh, that would be wonderful. Right. All right, you're all set to take off. This is a copy of the release, uh, release report. Thank you, brother. Is Eden ready to go? Yeah, listen, can I take this in to her? Sure, sure, no problem. Okay, I got a feeling she might uh, need a couple minutes alone. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Thanks again. All right. Be sure and tell her I'll be by the house later on. I will do. Oh, Scott, I counsel a lot of women who've had to go home from the hospitals without their babies. But even when the baby's been in an incubator for a couple of weeks and has to stay home a little longer, it's traumatic. But at least they know their babies are safe and will be home eventually. Well, I'm really glad you're going to be spending some time with her today. I think it'll help. Are you going to be heading right over there, or can I take you to get some to eat first? Actually, I have to meet Zach. I haven't talked to him in ages. He's going to be over at Johnny's, but uh, why don't you join us? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to intrude. Come on, it's or... only Zach. Let's go. Right. You comfortable? Oh, I'm sorry. This moment isn't what it was supposed to be. Well, it's not exactly like I imagined it to be. Yeah. I kind of thought, you know, we would... Um, we go towards the elevator and I'd have Adriana in my arms, you know. The nurses would wave goodbye and say good luck. It's just, uh, 
not the way I thought it would be, you know. It's not the way I thought it would be. I know. But I don't know why, but I, I know that she will have her homecoming. It may not be the right day or the right time, but our little girl is going to come back to us. And until she does, we'll just... We'll just have to hold on to each other, you know?